Hey everybody, welcome back to Nintendo Treehouse live at E3. Sorry for the delay, we had a little technical issue, but uh, we got everything sorted out now. I'm Ed, sitting here with Eric and Rich. Hey. And, uh, hey everybody. We did a little uh, Codename Steam, um, was, we did some this morning with the dev team. Yep. We're going to do now with a little different perspective on things. Um, this was unveiled last night just at the round table. Just last night, and just last night Huge. I was promising everybody <laughs> that we were going to you know, go deep on this game and give you guys multiple perspectives on it. So what we're going to be doing is taking another look at it. Uh, Rich is going to be guiding us through uh, another look. Yeah, so yeah, I'm going to start us off. Uh, we're looking at a, dif a different map than we looked at this morning yeah. um, at the development team's request. Uh, so I want to set the stage for you before we get too deep into the game. It's the thing I like to do. Uh, we're talking about uh, Codename Steam. That's the strike team eliminating the alien menace. Uh, it's a team assembled by Abraham Lincoln to uh, take out the... Of course. Of course. Uh, um, star. <laughs> uh, a marauding <laughs> army of unspeakable aliens uh, that have started an attack uh, that begins in London and spreads out across the entire world. Now, um, the reason that you get involved in, the, uh, in this whole affair is uh, the main character, well, your first character, Henry, uh, is working at the U.S. Embassy, and he's going to be guarding the, um, the opening of the Steam Gate Bridge. If people watch the first, uh, the first three hours live footage, they will have seen you know, the opening sequence. Um, Henry gets caught up in this as one of the U.S. Uh, survivors of the initial attack mm. at the Embassy, and he gets pulled you know. into... Uh, all right, all right. Hang on. The characters are getting impatient. He gets pulled into this uh, into this battle, into action. and he gets uh, introduced to a series of other characters. Um, so here's Henry right here. I've got him in the number two position. Yeah. Right now we are on our. Uh, I'm, I uh, actually am kind of playing this out of sequence. I've uh, picked up some characters from later in the game and brought them into this earlier stage okay, so I nice. can show you our escape from London yeah. before we head off back to America. And you brought a, a different character here. You brought Randolph. That's right. Uh, I, I wanted to give us a little taste of some of the variety of characters in here. Uh, some with offensive weapons and some with non-offensive weapons. You know, that have right, right before this, I was hearing uh, Paul give you a hard time uh, about your character selection yeah. and, and what, what you had done. Uh, what, what was he uh, messing with you about? You know, he judged me. He judged me hard. So <laughs> he wanted me to go in here with, uh, with, with Randolph, of course. He's got this uh, weapon I'm going to show you in a few minutes. Um, but now all characters, they come with an innate weapon, a weapon that they carry with them. Right, that, right. It kind of represents who they are as a person. Like over here you've got, uh, John's got the <laughs> Every bear weapon grenade. Every represent who you I, are. I think it does. Exactly. <laughs> as, uh, as a person. The fox is a sniper. Okay. Um, she's got a, a gun with a fox motif on it. Uh, John's got the bear grenade got with the bear right. motif. Yeah. Um, the assault eagle that, uh, or the uh, eagle rifle that um, uh, Henry uses right here uh, has an eagle motif. Uh, Randolph's unspeakable lure has a... a, a <laughs> well, it's a, we'll it, get to that. It, it is um, unspeakable. And uh, every character can have a, sec a secondary weapon, a sub-weapon, uh, that right. uh, they can bring into the field as well. Now, Paul was telling me that I should make I should have kept Randolph completely non-offensive, um, like make him entirely in a supporting role. He wanted me to give him a weapon. I, I went with the steam rifle so that he has some firepower. More of, more of a standard kind of loadout. Yeah, he... he he said that lacks that lacks style. <laughs> I can't disagree with him, but I'm not operating at developer level here. So uh, he wanted me to go in with a supply cannon that launches a supply crate onto right. the battlefield, mm. and then he wanted Henry. Uh, Henry over here has an innate ability to uh, push items around across the, the stage, and so he wanted me to send Randolph out to launch a crate into the battlefield that Henry would push and push to keep me out of line of sight of the enemies, <laughs> basically hiding behind this moving <laughs> this moving uh, uh, crate. And which, I, which, is, which is a I'm strategy. Really like, it's, just, it's like, <laughs> it's legit. It's so mind-bending because uh, it's, I guess it's an illustration of uh, how this game works because you can really approach all of these kind of tactical situations from any different angle, totally different any ways. way that you can think yeah. about. Uh, I have never thought about doing that. So right here, what we're looking at, um, you can kind of see this, the, the, the options I've got at my disposal here. I've got a battlefield close off to the right. Uh, right in front of me, it kind of opens out. Lo looks pretty treacherous up there. And then up top, I see another enemy, uh, or I see something going on up there. Um, but the first thing I have to deal with is right in front of me, uh, I'm going to start walking forward. You're going to notice there's a steam gauge at the bottom of the screen. Every step I take depletes that steam gauge. Um, but I'm not committed to that movement. 
until I really finalize and take an action like shooting right. or uh, getting shot at is an action I could take, I suppose. Um, so I get to move around and explore, but when I do that, I risk revealing my position to the enemy. These two guys here now uh, are pretty well aware of where I am. Uh, Randolph is also pretty well aware. <laughs> Well aware that they know where he is. Well, and one thing to point out here is you have an eye stock on, on the screen here. Right there. Yeah, right over there. And that guy, that guy's a jerk. Because he's, basically, he's if you don't get out of line of sight of that guy right there, by the end of the turn, you're going to get shelled with artillery. And it's devastating. And I cannot kill this guy. Yeah. I, I have so. to get out of line of sight before right. he'll go away. Yeah. Um, so this target ring right around me here, that's what's going to get shelled if I stay there. Um, I don't want to get shelled, so I'm going to have to figure out how to deal with that. Uh, also, these two guys now know where I am um, because I just sort of charged forward because uh, that's super clever of me. Um, <laughs> using strategy, Rich. Yeah, I'm, I'm using yeah, strategy here. This is, a, this is uh, demonstration purposes only. <laughs> this may not represent... Oh, is that, that going to be your excuse for I'm the fall back on that. It's, it's, no, it's, it's for it's demonstration important. purposes. It's for I'm just showing how, to, how not need, to do this. We need to encapsulate the fullness of this experience okay. here. The free excuses have started early. So uh, what I'm going to do first is, uh, because these guys have seen me, and because I happen to have brought Randolph with me, I'm, with me, I'm going to... Uh, Lob his unspeakable lure right here. Don't um, say that. What is this unspeakable lure? It's it's meat. I, it's uh it's meat that is very tempting to the enemy. I still don't I still don't know what about that meat is unspeakable, but well, there's a there's a strong <laughs> ice motif that runs strong, through the yeah. uh, through the, uh, I don't know what kind of enemy that is. So they're really into the frozen the, meat on the his aliens, game. The aliens meat. love it. Let the aliens meat. love it, yeah. Now, by doing that, I, w I wasn't really thinking ahead about how much steam I would have left over, and I can't get out <laughs> of line of sight of this guy. So we're going to deal with that problem in a moment. I'm okay. going to show you some other things. Okay. Um, here I've got Henry, who is in a good supporting position on uh, Randolph. What am I going to do here? I think I'm going to... I need to reserve a little bit of steam for uh, a reason I'll, I'll make clear in just a moment. So I'm going to move him into position over here. I'm going to save enough steam to shoot. And then I'm going to jump over to Henry. Or I'm sorry, uh, over to John. I was just on Henry. Um, John's got his bear grenade, as I've mentioned a couple of times now. Um, awesome area effect weapon. Uh, I've got this guy staring right at me. That's not Randolph. That's the. Uh, that's got to be a slasher, huh? Uh, right on the other side. I think I'm going to drop a, a grenade on him right now. Just. Uh, you know, for my own sense of security. I'm going to just lob that oh, over. Yeah. Oh, nice. that actually did the oh. trick. I was not sure nice. that would kill him. That's it did awesome. kill him. Yeah, that's great. Randolph is the only one in Rick's extreme danger himself. right now. I did great. I'm doing great. <laughs> um, and then I've got the fox right here. Well, you've got to get... I mean, well, so one of the things you need to do in this, in this uh, level is get to the high ground. That's, that's especially true for the fox. Yeah. She's my sniper, right? Yeah. So I think I'm going to take that advice. I'm going to go up this hill. And it just go, I'm just going to see what's see up here. Okay, there's a guy up here. Um, we're fine, though. This is fine. We're all fine. This, now, this is a good opportunity to talk a little bit about weak points. That's uh, you right. Know, because every enemy has a particular area that they're much weaker. And one of the things about this game that kind of takes a little while to get your, wrap your head around is it's a really deep, deep strategy game. But, you know, the controls are very kind of action game, you know, oriented. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and you're able to kind of sit and think tactically about where it is you want to hit an enemy. In this case, uh, weak point is sort of the butt there. Yeah, and it's the a little region. different from like your tile-based strategy games yeah. where you just have to attack into a tile. Um, you, or uh, where you attack like based on a certain facing. You kind of have to target yeah. very specifically. You can see my reticle here. You need to be, you need to be pretty precise with your targeting. You gotta be there. You gotta have that perspective right. on that point. Um, perspective is another good thing to bring up here because I'm down on the ground. I don't have a lot of uh, visibility into the battlefield, so perspective is really important. Like me being able to get to the high ground affords me a look That's at so the battlefield cool. that I don't have any other way. Right. So I'm kind of spreading my team thin here, but it's going to be okay. It's going to be, be able okay. To, you, have a you keep saying that. It's fine. But it's going to be fine. So that a little too much. What I want to do now. Makes me worried is I'm going to save a little bit of my uh, steam here, like I mentioned. You can see his weapon takes three to fire. The fox's takes four to fire. She's a sniper. It's a very powerful weapon. Uh, but if I save this steam, you can see right to the uh, left of the steam gauge, there's a little green icon. That indicates that this weapon uh, supports Overwatch fire. So Overwatch lets me attack on the enemy's turn. If they come into range, 
uh, and I see them move, then I'll track them and shoot. If I can track them before they get off screen right, right. Um, or out of sight, then I'll, I'll pull off a shot. Uh, well, and, and the only way that that works is that you've retained enough steam at the end of your turn to pull off that shot. Right, right. And, you know, one of the really great advantages of Overwatch is that it enables you to actually stun enemies as they're coming at you. So, yeah. you know, if you were able to, you know, if an enemy is coming at you and you shoot them and you're able to stun them, then they lose the turn, you know, the ability to move on that turn. And that's a really effective method. Another thing that you can do is line up, uh, you know, couple of your soldiers so that they're attacking both on Overwatch at the same time. Absolutely. And they're going to go in sequence, and yeah, that's yeah. a really powerful combo. Yeah, and if I can pull that off, I will. No promises, though. Okay. There's a little bit of uh, a little bit of strategy that I may not be able to pull off right now. Well, let's let's get some combat rolling here. All right, I do want to do, before I leave Randolph entirely in the cold here, I want to show off one more feature about uh, each of these characters. They each have a special ability that's unique to them uh, that you can pull off once per game, once I mean once per map, uh, right. without any steam cost. Randolph has uh, the Eldritch Shield that'll protect him um, and will shield any nearby allies. Now I haven't left anyone else nearby, so this is only going to help Randolph right now. But I think it's important because he's about to get just shellacked. Uh, so I'm gonna trigger his special uh, ability, and I want you guys to watch this because it's super awesome. Sh shellacked. Rich is even adopting the uh, Lexicon of the Golden Age of yeah. comics. <laughs> the gimmick here is that Randolph Love is it. using his un unspeakable knowledge. <laughs> um, it it's, a, it's a motif, let's that call it. It's so his unspeakable. Character. And uh, see, so he's got a little shield on him right now that's chops. hopefully going to protect him. He's also tossed out a meat lure out there that's going to try yeah. and attract this guy's attention. I don't know if he saw it in time. I don't know if I've got that guy's attention yet. Randolph could be uh, in for more trouble than I expect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end my turn, and then we're just going to cross our fingers and go. Enemy's turn. Uh, one thing I want to talk about is Overwatch uh, doesn't cost as it, the, the cost varies mm. for different weapons. All right, we did this. Let's do a couple shots off. It's good. He saw the meat. He's in. Uh, so. That guy, I didn't stun him, but he saw the meat and he got distracted. Right. The other guy did not. He was not distracted. Okay. Um, so certain weapons He's are actually curious. cheaper. See the meat, see the meat, yes. <laughs> um, certain weapons are cheaper on Overwatch. So the Fox costs four to fire her weapon on her turn, but costs less in Overwatch. And I was able to pull off a stun move. Um, here comes the bombing. It's coming. Brace yourself, Randolph. This is not good. I mean, and, and just imagine, this has all happened in just one turn <laughs> uh, uh, you know, of, of combat. We're and a lot of that has to do here. with the depth of this game. I mean, this is uh, a game that's being co-developed by Nintendo and Intelligent Systems. Oh. Oh, but it, it helped. There's a little splash not, damage not, not on the other bad. guy. Uh, and, you know, th these, th these are teams that really, really it's understand strategy. The huge amount of depth in this game. Uh, you know, p the people responsible for, uh, you know, Fire Emblem and Advanced Wars. Advanced Wars. Uh, speaking of which, uh, Rich here it worked on all of the Fire Emblems and Advanced Wars games, I I've, think. I've, yeah. had a little, I've had a little bit, bit yeah. in, the, in each one of them so far. Mm. Um, first writing and kind yeah. of uh, overseeing projects and yeah. doing voice recording, things like that. I'm, Actually, that I'm brings, a huge fan of these games. Brings up something I've, I'm really, uh, I still take a lot of pleasure in uh, the voice work. I'm just going to do two straight shots. Oh, that didn't do the trick. Oh. Come on, Rich. Oh, all right. Do don't, I save the Overwatch don't. or do I just go for it? I'm going for it. Oh, you go. Yeah, I'm going yeah, for I'll it. Go for it. All right. Yes. Except that now she's out there in the cold. Uh, Nobody is around. So one thing I love is all the context-based messaging these guys give. Like, so I can skulk. I can sit, sit, kind of walk along quietly. Oh, but they detected me because I walked right into their line of sight. I wonder why they detected me. That's how it me. happens. Um, those messages are all context-driven, all those voice things. And we weren't really sure. I'm going to uh, more meat. Um, and run away. Just keep launching, keep launching that meat. You'll notice the eye stalk. I'm out, of, I'm out of his visual range now. My goal is to get rid of that eye stalk this turn. If he can't see me, he'll vanish and, and go away for a turn. Um, but when we were in localization on this, um, like as we were doing the voice recording, we didn't know the context for a lot of these messages, so we wound up recording them just in-house with Treehouse yeah. people. Uh, yeah, okay. and, yeah uh, absolutely. I still, uh, even I'm though we've got the actual uh, voice talent in there now, I still remember and think about 
like the uh, shrill falsetto Queen Victoria that one of our guys did. <laughs> and no um, one, will, no one will ever get to see. No that. one will ever know. Uh, no. But there's, I mean, there's a reason they call them voice talent, yeah. and it's because we aren't. Yeah, we uh, are. It was no. terrible, and it was wonderful. Um, so I've only so got what, how are you going to approach this, Rich? You, well, I've only got one shot here uh, with a grenade. And we're all going to judge you on, on exactly how you handle this. But I do have, oh, this is too expensive for me to use now. His backup web in the sentry is, is mm. also uh, useful but very expensive. So I think what I'm going to do right now is lob one grenade over at those guys. You can see there's a good chance, depending on the amount of damage I do, there's a chance I might knock out the guy on the left. I think you're going to take the one out yeah. left. The guy on the right, I'm going to do a little damage to him, but hopefully he's going to yeah. he's yeah. going to yeah. go into a meat-induced rage and charge that uh, frozen stick. And uh, Henry here, who's still on Overwatch, <laughs> I don't is going to parse that. Yeah, <laughs> going to take a few, po uh, a few pot uh, shots at this guy. Start with meat-induced rage. <laughs> and go from there. Um, and that's everybody's turn right now, except for uh, Henry's. I don't want to get him too close to the eye stalk, but I'm going to bring him in a little bit more so I can advance just a bit. I'm doing this very cautiously. I don't want to charge into battle. And part of the reason is um, one of my characters isn't designed primarily for offensive combat. One of my characters needs to serve a support role. But, but there's a trade off for that. And that yeah. trade off is that you're not advancing through the stage all that fast. Everyone at home is probably like, Rich. You're taking your sweet time. I know, right? You know, <laughs> getting uh, getting through this level, but one of the real disadvantages of playing a safe like this is at any time you, you may have an enemy spawn right behind you, right? And it's going to start just eating you alive. So there's I kind of hope that that's going to happen to you. Actually, I really I really hope that that happens right now. There's something about the dynamic battlefield changing the way our whole strategy is yeah, going to play out yeah. here. That's it lends an air of uh, urgency. I think is the word we're looking for. Um, okay, so these guys are still meat drunk and. Uh, we're going to take care of them in just a moment. Um, I can get both of them in one shot right here. It, it, yeah, there you go. I was going to lob a sentry out there, but I think it's better if I spin the steam, charge it. Oh, he's still uh, okay. So I don't know if I mentioned enemy has Overwatch too. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, by happens. the way, this, yeah. <laughs> Come between him and his. So I just want to bring that up right now. It seems relevant. It's and, a good time. And you were just on the receiving end of that stun. So now you've lost the ability to do anything else. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to hang out there uh, by design. This is all by design. And uh, oh, get on that. <laughs> get on that thing, Rich. I'm. Uh, well, I'm going to get there. Uh, going to make a little progress here. This guy almost certainly has some Overwatch of his own. Um, I wonder. Yep. I'm going to trigger that. Oh. It's fine though. Everything's, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's everything's fine. Everything's everything fine here. is fine. I'm going to leave that Overwatch for her. Um, I think she's going to take him out. And then uh, I think his Overwatch might be tapped out. So I think I can just take a clean oh, shot at him. Yeah, you got it. There it is. And I'm going to try to get ahead before that Ice Dog pops back up. If that's You want to talk a little bit about those floating coins that are there, too? Yeah, some those people uh, might have some questions about that. That's true. Those medals come in. Uh, they come into play uh, outside of battle. You can use those medals. I'm just going to grab as many as I can on this turn uh, to purchase additional equipment. Now, uh, one of the things that uh, Intelligent Systems has been talking about a lot uh, over the past couple of days is how difficult it can be for new people to come into a strategy game with right. all the uh, abstractions of uh, numbers and things like that. Um, and they've really made this kind of minimalist when it comes to all of those abstractions. But they've also tried to make it a little bit more welcoming. Um, you've got a save point, that glowing, uh, it looks like an hourglass right over here. We'll come around the corner to it in a minute. You know, Randolph's being pretty bold for a guy with no offensive capabilities. Um, <laughs> that's fine. We're fine. It's going to work out for you, Rich, I'm uh, sure. And not that it's, there's no problem here. In fact, uh, okay, I'm just going to go for it. Turn, come on. I'm going to end my turn looking up this way. Um, so you can spend medals. If, if you do get taken out, if I lose an agent on the battlefield, um, I can uh, run over and, and hit one of those mid-stage save points and expend the medals that I've been gathering to refill one character's uh, health and steam. Or I can spend more medals and restore uh, any knocked out characters and refill their steam so that I basically get a bonus turn. But that pushes me off from getting any of the, you know, the additional sub-weapons. Uh, I won't be able to buy them until much later because I've spent basically a, a huge. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So remember what you're saying about how Overwatch has that cost of like uh, making, uh, yes. costing you time basically yeah. that you're advancing. So are you telling me that my dreams have come true, Rich? <laughs> Every one of your dreams okay. has come true. 
So an ice dog just popped, for taking too long popped right back up. I've got a solution for this problem now. So uh, these uh, um, these screens that you can see right here, uh, you can check them out at any time. Um, we're fine. This is fine. This is uh, we can check these out. <laughs> get, yes, thank you. Watch out for those floating eyes. Yeah, but um, it's, it's helpful to know now. Yeah, so now I know a little bit that I uh, that I may not have known before uh, through experience if I had been playing a little more cautiously. I should have known. But checking out that screen also gives me a refresh on the Steam, so I can uh, just bullet ahead. And uh, I'm now out of line of sight, although uh, Henry is not. So get over here. Let's see if I can lob that sentry. Oh, no, I don't quite have enough to lob the sentry. So I'm, I do want to lob that sentry, though, because he's handy. Um, I'm just going to toss. Uh, John's got this sub item of a sentry, uh, basically an auto cannon sort of thing that's going to sit there and defend me for a little bit. Now, we do need to advance uh, the battlefield a little, so I'm going to charge ahead and outside of that guy's. He still sees me. He still sees me. Oh, Lord. It's, it, does he still? Can we camp here? Is it cool if I uh, camp here, buddy? <laughs> this is going to be a very uh, difficult to defend position. Uh, I don't like this. You know what? I, I have a plan. He sees me. <laughs> Ed's saying it's fine, so I think Just you're good. Fine. Yeah, Ed, Ed knows. Ed knows. He sees me. Can we all get? Uh, can we all hang out here together? All of us friends. <laughs> Friend. Hold me. All right. More meat. That's always the, my solution. So I'm going to lob the meat over there. That's the entirety of your battle plan. That is my battle plan. So there you go. You can he see the right meat. there that right. He's, uh, you caught his attention. Everybody is just crouching yeah. in this one safe yeah. square. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Nothing could go wrong. And the fox now has a, a totally free uh, line of movement up here and bonus steam I can oh, grab. Nice. Oh, nice. And yeah. uh, I just shot the steam cannon because he's really not paying attention. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to jump into That's the steam you cannon. Do. You want to immediately shoot the, the <laughs> cannon that you're going to use to shoot over Yeah. Now, this is it. what it I can't wanted. all be me, Rich. Fortunately, <laughs> I kept a little extra steam handy. This steam cannon is is great. Uh, I think I can take that guy out on one turn. I'm just going to lob a shot uh, right there. There he oh. goes. Nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to stay here and see if anyone else uh, wants a little of that snack I left out there. And I'm just going to hope that everybody is out of range of that ice stall. Aliens love the snacks. All right, so... Okay, there's a prowler. Those guys are uh, they're, they're trouble because they're smart. Uh, they're a little smarter than a lot of the other enemies. Uh, they'll team up on attacks. You can see they're carrying weapons as well. The eye stalk doesn't know where we are anymore, so he took off. My my strategy, a little air quotes. Uh, my strategy helped me out there. I was able to avoid any immediate danger by getting out of that eye stalk's way. Um, now, yeah, I know. We're all kind of clustered close together. I gotta do this. Uh, you know, first in, first out. Um, so, John, you're a little low on steam. I'm going to move you into a support oh, position back that? here. Um, they're all out of range, so I think I'm going to have to exit. Oh, That's fine. We're fine here. You got one it's good shot fine. out of it. Yeah. And I actually think I'm going to bring her back down to the uh, battlefield below. And... Uh, I'm going to pull her special ability into play now. Yes. Uh, her sharp eye refills uh, my steam. It's so sad. By the way, I, those who are watching me and I actually see this. You're literally pulling the handle yeah. to activate it. Yeah. So there I am. I've got full steam. I've got double overwatch range. And she's just right out in the front lines. Um, I need to get their attention, though. So here's where I need my buddy Randolph to throw some snacks out there. Um, all right, snack time. Yes. Yum. Uh, they're all, they all looked right at it. That makes me very happy. Let's do it. Um, then I'm going to get another, see if I can stack some overwatch here. If they charge it, I might be able to get a stacked overwatch with uh, Henry and the Fox. No promises here, but I feel good about this. Enemy so let's see how this plays out now. Okay, there's one. Stun. Two. Nice. No stun. Uh, but he's uh, coming. Here oh, comes yeah, the stack. Nice. Perfect execution of Overwatch. And. And. Boom. And nice. That was 
really beautiful to watch. I feel good about this. Rich. Feel good it's, about okay to, it's okay to compliment yourself. Totally. I feel real good. Yeah, yeah you should feel um, awesome for yourself. So we we rehearsed this a few times back at, 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 at the actual home treehouse. And uh, I didn't do this well. But there was something there kind were, of beautiful yeah, in doing it. It didn't, it didn't go anywhere Rich. near as well. You never do this well. I never do this well. It's, oh, okay. So uh, that whole hubris thing <laughs> might be coming into play here. Um, so I got, I did pull off the stacked Overwatch. I felt really good about that. Choices. Um, now I need to find a way out of his line of sight, and he has quite a line of sight. Uh, he's in there. He's going to run ahead. But the farther I run with this guy, um, the more exposed he is. And you can't shoot anything or do anything. Right? Yeah, so they've seen. Oh, and oh, they've got Overwatch. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> right. And we're now, stunned. Now we're and getting stunned. So there are no take backs. Uh, he's going to sit there. Uh, all right, now. That's working out awesome for you, Rich. It's great. Um, he's a little out of the range. I'm going to switch over to his steam rifle and leave him with enough for some Overwatch himself. This is where uh, this is where Paul would just be shaking his head right now. <laughs> like, no style. There's, there's, there's no style at, all. style at all. And then I'm gonna. Oh, and he's not even out of uh, line of sight. So whoops. Oh. Uh, <laughs> now yeah. the enemies or maybe have this it. This is Rich's style. This is my <laughs> then, my style. It's all is, style. It's all. Yeah, this is Rich's nothing style. but. Is she right behind me? Because I don't not friendly fire. That's. Rich is having a Rich is having a tough day here. Yeah. We're he's right. First he gets mocked. On uh, uh, on our from our the dev or Smash Wii U. All that oh, matters right, is right. who wins he, last. He gets mocked by by the devs. You know you know last. it's true. The only thing that matters is who wins last. Okay. And <laughs> filthiest. Who wins filthiest? <laughs> who wins? You dirty dirty winner. Who wins? <laughs> with the unspeakable now lure. We do it. All right, so I think I'm okay here. Uh, are we all out of line? No. Uh, Randolph. Well, he's already taken one ice block to the head. Uh, do I leave him there? Leave him hanging? Or do I step him out? I'm yeah. still in range. I'm still in range. There's a lot of, a lot of thinking about this, turn. Oh, yeah. all right. Uh, all right, you know what? I'm done thinking because he can't move. Um, fortunately, he got knocked back, which means that maybe... Yeah, that is unfortunate. No, it is fortunate because... If he was stunned oh, in that previous right. yeah, square, yeah, yeah. that artillery was going to be right on mm, top of him. On top, on top of all. Of all right, so I've got one more thing I'm going to do here, and that is uh, Henry's eagle strike. Oh, this, this is my favorite. So, yeah. this is the last thing I'm going to be able to pull off on this turn, and then we're just going to play it out. Yeah. I'm going to be out of time in a second. Love the art in this game. It's, you know, all, all of that comic book inspiration. Oh, so cleaned up. Oh, that felt good. Um, that actually Very did feel good. Nice. You did all right, Rich. Now, there it is. You can actually no, not quite make it to the goal. It's just right there. Right. It's just one turn the away. Tease, the tease. Let's get out of there. Let's all. Here she is. She'll take us there. Congrats. And that's it. We made it through the stage. That's awesome. Going into the next you did it your way. Now the thing is, these uh, these stages are super long. Mm. Um, you know what? I am gonna save. It is. You know, I am gonna save my progress. <laughs> That's gonna feel good. It, it, it is just That's a. Uh, it is just a peek at uh, what is turning out to be an incredible game. Uh, so excited I'm for so, this one. I'm so pumped for it. Yeah. I am really happy with the way that this yeah, stage yeah. played out this time. Yeah. It's awesome. Well, Rich, good work. Thanks for coming by. Thanks very much Eric, for letting me for do well. Yeah. Oh, always, always. Uh, coming up next, we got Super Smash Brothers for Wii U. Don't go anywhere. Nintendo Treehouse Live at E3. Thanks a lot, guys.